In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary and the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May mighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who made all those reborn in Christ, a chosen race, and a royal priesthood, Grant us, we pray, the grace to will and to do what you command. The people called to eternal life may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I will take the children of Israel from among the nations to which they have come, and gather them from all sides to bring them back to their land. I will make them one nation upon the land in the mountains of Israel, and there shall be one prince for them all. Never again shall they be two nations, and never again shall they be divided into two kingdoms. No longer shall they defile themselves with their idols, their abominations, and all their transgressions. I will deliver them from all their sins of apostasy, and cleanse them so that they may be my people, and I may be their God. My servant David shall be prince over them, and there shall be one shepherd for them all. They shall live by my statutes and carefully observe my decrees. They shall live on the land that I gave to my servant Jacob, the land where their fathers lived. They shall live on it forever, they and their children and their children's children, with my servant David, their prince forever. I will make with them a covenant of peace. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them, and I will multiply them and put my sanctuary among them forever. My dwelling shall be with them. I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Thus the nations shall know that it is I, the Lord, who make Israel holy, when my sanctuary shall be set among them forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Proclaim it on distant isles and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings, the grain, the wine, and the oil, the sheep, and the oxen. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Cast away from you all the crimes you have committed, says the Lord. And make for yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Many of the Jews who had come to Mary and seen what Jesus had done began to believe in them. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. So the chief priests and the Pharisees convened the Sanhedrin and said, What are we going to do? This man is performing many signs. If we leave him alone, all will believe in him, and the Romans will come and take away both our land and our nation. But one of them, Caiaphas, who was high priest that year, said to them, You know nothing, nor do you consider that it is better for you that one man should die instead of the people, that the whole nation may not perish. He did not say this on his own, but since he was high priest for that year, he prophesied that Jesus was going to die for the nation, and not only for the nation, but also the gathering to one, the dispersed children of God. So from that day on, they planned to kill him. So Jesus no longer walked about in public among the Jews. They left for the region near the desert, to a town called Ephraim, and there he remained with his disciples. Now the Passover of the Jews was near, and many went up from the country to Jerusalem before Passover to purify themselves. They looked for Jesus and said to one another, as they were in the temple area, What do you think? He will not come to the feast? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Have you ever thought about this based upon our Gospel here today, this following thought? You all know how the vast majority of the ancient Jewish people have been waiting for the coming of the Messiah for centuries. Weren't the chief priests, like the high priest Caiaphas here today, and the Pharisees and the scribes, weren't they also waiting for the coming Messiah? Because when the Messiah shows up, when our Lord Jesus comes right there before them, they not only do not recognize him for who he is, they plan to kill him. Remember, this gospel passage comes soon after Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. So it's such a mighty miracle. Many people were coming to not only follow our Lord, but to truly believe that He was indeed the Messiah. But instead of looking at all that Jesus did in His miracles, in His healings, in His preaching, in His loving concern for others that nobody had ever seen that before, the religious leaders of the people were envious and jealous to the point they wanted to get rid of Jesus. Now, Caiaphas, though he did not have a proper intention, he still says one of the most prophetic words of all time, though he really didn't mean it. He said about the situation with Jesus, Can you not see that it is better for you to have one man die for the people than to have the whole nation destroyed? He simply meant to have one man killed, the one causing the commotion, as to avoid trouble with the Romans. There's a lot more going on with those words, there isn't there? The death of one man, Jesus, who of course is also God, will indeed be the means by which all of us, all of humanity, not just the nation of Israel, can be saved. But the minds of the chief priests, the majority of the Pharisees, were darkened to the point where they didn't even recognize who had come into their presence. Their minds were darkened by intense envy and jealousy. They were envious of what Jesus could do, and they were certainly jealous that they were going to be replaced by our Lord. For those of us waiting out this coronavirus situation, for those of you there at home, in a certain sense, you too are awaiting the coming of the Messiah. Now don't get this wrong. God can come to you, God has come to you, in numerous ways. Here at this Mass, we make your spiritual communion. Through your families, when you guys pray. Through nature, through music, through the scriptures, through the company of the saints. You are not without the presence and the blessing of God. But the greatest blessing, because it's the highest, most powerful, 
powerful presence of God is still being able to receive Jesus in the Holy Eucharist. You all are awaiting the Messiah in that aspect. But the day will come, and God willing, it will come soon. You all will be able to receive Jesus again in Holy Communion. But in the meantime, don't you let your minds or your hearts become dark. Part of our isolation is to let God continue to prune us of our envy, or jealousy, or hatred, or prejudice, or our judgmental thoughts of others. So cooperate with the Holy Spirit. You do whatever it takes to receive whatever grace God has in store for you. That your minds or your hearts do not grow dark, not even a little bit. You know, Holy Week begins tomorrow. In the week ahead, allow yourself to see how Jesus can use you and your cross, whatever you're suffering with, to bring grace to this world. So surrender your heart to the Sacred Heart. You do that, and you will never miss a moment of being in the presence of the Messiah, the Savior who has come for His people. In the full comments of our Catholic faith, let's now present our needs before our Father in heaven. For those preparing to be received into the church, that they will remain faithful to Christ all the days of their lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have lost their lives through the coronavirus, that we truly rest in the peace of the eternal presence of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a speedy end to the spread of the virus, and that God will protect all of us from all forms of danger, both physical and spiritual, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase of vocations to the priesthood and to the consecrated life, especially from our own parish community, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor, the sick, the hungry, the unemployed, and those who suffer from lack of love and affection, that our Lord Jesus may shower his love and mercy upon them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God will continue to bless us even during these days of trial with an abundance of peace in our hearts, in our homes, and throughout the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For continued grace to live with greater faith in Jesus and His ability to give us life, both here and for all eternity, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the special intentions for which this Mass is being offered, for the repose of the soul of Luella Naranjo, for all the deceased members of the Isbell family, and for the health of Vince and Gail Long and Emily Chernock, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you as always for receiving our prayers. May we never take for granted the peace that comes from being in your presence. And we ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, who become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. 
for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. For the gifts we offer from our fasting be acceptable to you, O Lord, we pray, and as an expiation for our sins, that it make us worthy of your grace and lead us to what you promise for eternity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, as by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. So, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks. As an exaltation, we are glad. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
Amen. Amen. The Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace in unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Now for our act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. 
I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, as you feed us with the nourishment that comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, to make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass has ended. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. O Oh.